Good morning, sir. Your host for today's webinar with international students, Amit Singh at 12, Director, Corporate Relations. I welcome all the international students studying in Rath and Bara University, Mohali. In this campus, Thank you, sir. the students from Nigeria, Congo, Bhutan, Nepal, Afghanistan, and most of the African countries are studying with us. Today, I welcome few of my students who are right now in India and within our campus. Welcome to all. Uh, thank Welcome you, thank to you all. very much. Yeah, thank you very much, thank sir. You, sir. Yeah, how are you all? Thank you very much. We are all fine. We are doing good. Fine. I request uh, uh, all of you to fine. start fine. introducing to start introducing yourself and i request uh, john john will you start from yourself first all right sure sir my name is john joel uh, from nigeria and i'm here to uh, pursuing btech civil engineering at semester thank you thank you yeah levando Okay, so my name is Gwendo Ajoa Shabu and I'm in my final year computer science engineering. Thank you. Okay. Frank. I request okay, Frank. My name is Frank Kweba. I'm from Tanzania. Yes, my name is Frank Kweba. I'm from Tanzania. Okay. I'm, Tanzania. I'm doing this year in my last semester, sixth semester. Yes, I'm from Tanzania. Uh, I request Sayyid from Afghanistan. I think he's not connected with us. I request uh, Gaji to introduce uh, herself. Okay. My name is Shagimi Gaji. I'm from Nigeria. I'm studying pharmacy, third semester. Oh, great. Welcome to all for this webinar today. And we are uh, our ma main agenda to discuss how you all are in India and uh, the, the quality of education you are getting in India, especially in Riyadh and Bara University. I, requ I request you. all of you and uh, one by one, you can start sharing your views. My first question to all of you and how you feel in Riyadh and Bara University. You are here from after a long time. You can share your experiences. I start with John. John, you can start. All right, sir. I want to say thank you for giving me this question. And uh, I want to say uh, I feel privileged in this university since the time I came here, come over here. And uh, what I'm saying here right now, I want my viewers out there to know that I'm speaking for myself and uh, not for anybody, uh, my individual experience. So um, when I came three years plus ago, one thing I noticed and I feel good about is I, the Department of, let me start with the Department of International Affairs. Um, Mr. Deepak Sharma, he has... Uh, try his possible best to see that uh, the inter all the international students uh, uh, are living and have, uh, he tried his best to see that we are not facing all challenges. So he put more effort to interact with the student along with the chairman to see that we are sitting comfortable within the university. So previously when I came, we had several meetings 
with the with Deepak Sharma, the director of international affairs and uh, chairman, to ask us the challenges we are facing within the campus and the ways of solving them. Uh, uh, he wants our suggestion, uh, the suggestion from us to solve the problems that we are facing, which I think is a good move and I feel happy about it. And uh, I also want to talk to other departments who have been helpful to us, uh, like the library, the, the librarian, like she's, she has been interactive and cooperative because uh, we asked her, uh, we told her the challenges we are facing regarding the library and she has been cooperative in the sense that we asked her to give orientation for the new student, special orientation for the new student, and she did so. And uh, I feel happy about this. So, And uh, I want to add this also to this. Uh, during the, in 2017, during the um, summer holiday, we request if we can be able to have opportunities to have summer job with other students, uh, and like four or five, five to six students actually, were given opportunity to work within the campus, and uh, they didn't while away time, they didn't waste their time, they used that time wisely, and we were able to achieve something. And also, I want to talk about the civil engineering department also. Um, the HOD has been helpful. He helped me in my project work. So I want to commend him on that. And also, I still want to commend uh, Mr. Deepak Sharma for giving me the opportunity to work with him uh, in his department. He has been so helpful. And then uh, that really helped me to grow as an individual. So. Um, that's, uh, I will say that, in general, my journey here has been a testimony of success. So, and I'm okay. happy uh, that I've achieved all this. Okay. What I can summarize from John Buse, John is uh, uh, saying thanks to Mrs. Bahel, who is heading the library department, uh, our uh, HOD civil department, uh, Mr. Sunil Pradeshni is heading the department and special yeah. thanks uh, from the John, uh, John and to Mr. Deepak Sharma, who is heading the international department. Thanks, John, for yeah, sharing absolutely. these views. I can come down to Levando. Levando, if you can share your views. Yeah, yeah Levando. Am I audible, Levando? Yeah, I can hear you. Just that network is a bit bad. Okay, so um, thank you so much for <laughs> allowing me to speak today. I was actually very excited. And um, when it comes to my experience the past four years, I would say it's been <laughs> a journey that I've learned appreciate like I feel like I've really grown towards the past four years and um, in the first year when I just came I was the only African in my class so it was a bit hard to um, understand lessons when they kept switching to Hindi and everything but I feel like with time and with the management that we had, we were able to talk them into giving us lessons in English, and I was able to understand. And yeah, so I would say my general experience at Triad Bar University was great. Like, I had very good friends, I had very friendly students who were able to help me in my course of study. And I like the fact that. Um, laptop, laptop. Um, my department was also able to help me personally, even though it was a bit challenging at first, but I feel like my general view of my stay in the past four years was great. Like, I really, uh, I would say it was great. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Levando. Just now, Shristi has joined with us from Bhutan. Hello, Shristi. Hello. Hello, sir. Uh, I request uh, uh, Ghazi to share her views. Uh, 
Hello? Yeah, wait just, uh, Sister, just wait. Okay. Um, I'll... Uh, Frank? Hello, Frank. Frank, I'm audible. Yes, I'm audible. You are very yeah, audible. Huh, yeah, I think uh, Sistri and Gazi is uh, some disturbance in the line. I request Frank, you can just start and share your views. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, as I introduce myself, my name is Frank. Um, it is such a very big privilege for me to uh, experience Bradbury University as one of the uh, biggest universities that I've been. Actually, through my personal experience, I've experienced something called um, semester education. I did two years in Tanzania. So it's a two-way experience in Tanzania and um, in India. So Bay University has been a very good parent uh, in guiding Tanzanians on the exposure of Indian uh, education. And um, at first, I couldn't understand even the Indian accent. It's like, you speak English, but I don't understand. So I, by with time, uh, we are trained back in Tanzania, and we got a privilege uh, to see the VC himself. Uh, he came to Tanzania to how well um, Red Bay University is in, frankly speaking, maybe not at this point. When we came the third year, um, trying to adjust with the Indian education. We experienced very good. Not, uh, I think some technical. John, I can come to you. I think some technical issues is there with the. Uh, uh, and. This. Uh, yeah, right. John, I just want to know one thing. Uh, after uh, this COVID started, Okay. Hello, John. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you all are stayed in India, and how you manage in India with the university in this lockdown period? I want to know your views and experiences. All right. Okay. Thanks for this question once again, sir. Um, as we all know, that uh, the global uh, pandemic has bedeviled the livelihood of the whole universe of the whole world. Life in Rayadbara is of no difference, but I must uh, say this, uh, during the lockdown, there is a uh, great challenge because there is a new set of rules and regulations which everyone has to abide, which every, all the world knows about it. So um, the university has tried its best to see that each and every indi individual has to abide by the rules and regulations imposed by the government. Uh, which uh, is they provide masks to each and every student within the hostel and they allocate a single room for each and every individual. And uh, interaction with the outsiders within the campus are highly prohibited. There is no connection with the outsiders. And there is no one that is allowed to order anything from outside, whether food or anything. So... I must say that uh, the university have tried its best in tackling the, uh, the spread of the uh, in curbing the spread of the virus within the campus. But as we all know, it's something new to each and every individual, and it has been challenging for each and every one. Um, the new rules, you, uh, like for me, individual, uh, because I'm in between the administration with the university. Sometimes the rules will be. Uh, I will be told to talk to the student to try to abide by all the rules and regulations, and it's been challenging because uh, yes. some students uh, find it challenging and they will complain about it. There was an instance with the rules and regulations whereby the ordering of food is prohibited, but a student tried to get, go get it at the main gate, and the security tried to stop him, and then uh, they, he even got hit on his leg, and which is wrong for both sides. So we are able to solve these challenges whereby the student complained that uh, the securities, uh, they, are, they, are, they are feeling having challenge with the securities and the securities are saying that they are not abiding by the rules and regulation. So in a nutshell, we 
try to solve this issue by telling the securities whoever is trying to break the rules it's not good to use uh, uh it's not good to brutalize every anyone and also in the student side whosoever whoever uh, don't want to abide by the rules or regulation will be uh, will be rusticated from the university because it's a rule imposed by the government so and government. i we added that yeah we added that everyone knows that this uh is something that we need to follow in order to keep ourselves safe which even help us and even till now we are just uh, happy about it because there is n we have not found any cases uh, within and also everyone is living happily yeah. uh, but we know that there's challenges but in general it helps <coughs> the rules imposed by the university help the university to stay safe within the campus uh, but we know that there are those challenges yeah. And in a nutshell, we have tried to we have uh, understand between the student with the securities that there are challenges, and we find a way of solving this issue by explaining it in a right way, and everything is solved amicably. Uh, because the students are complaining that the if uh, each and every individual should abide by the rule, even the workers have to abide by the rules and regulation within the university because they are complaining that they are not abiding by the rules so we speak with the administration and what they did is that those who people who work in the campus within the, uh, like in the mess they ask them to come and stay permanently within the university and then yeah, when one, they stay one, one, one thing i want to know uh, john uh, yeah. by the uh, university has taken uh, some steps due to this uh, mm. as per the government regulations yeah yeah so frank back frank, hello frank yeah, uh, university yes, has also hello, taken hello, hello. hello, yeah, uh, university has taken these steps as per the governing, uh, sure. as per the government rules and regulations. And yeah, yeah. What you think these steps help you to keep safe? Yes. Is the steps? Absolutely, absolutely. Because, because uh, yes, I by know, but, yeah. but I know in my uh, 40 year of uh, life. I have never seen these type of thing when government has imposed yeah. anything to us. I think you are, yeah, you are yeah, yeah. in your country you have not seen. But yes, these steps yes. are basically for us only to keep the safe. What are your views, yeah. Frank, on this? Frank? Uh, obviously, um, the university has taken a very big step in ensuring the safety of the students. And actually, it's a, it has been a very tragic moment for us, um, the teachers, the management, and also the students, plus the workers. Um, but um, obviously, there are some challenges that we cannot um, actually run away from, um, like uh, the availability of food. It was very low, but the university made sure that we never got hungry. We never got hungry in the university, and um, they pro provided the you know, mask because um, to get out it was very risky for the university. So the university took the initiative to give each and every student a mask for the protection of his or her well-being. And the, and the third thing is um, the university took um, the privilege of um, ensuring each and every student is quarantined in a single room, whereby the spread of this um, pandemic coronavirus was not um, actually that there was no corona in the university, but ensuring that uh, we follow all the rules and uh, regulation provided by the government, um, or each and every had his, his or his own room, international student, so that we could be isolated and uh, okay. it, gives, it gives us uh, important to uh, 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 new skills. Come again? Am I audible? No, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, we discovered so, uh, our, new, our new skills. Um, come again? Am I audible? You can share. You can, yeah, you are audible. You can share your views, Frank. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we got time for me time. Obviously, we got me time. And um, the university, um, so we had a sense of fear, but um, I think those are my views. Yeah. 
and actually got an online uh, teaching experience, which was uh, very new for us. I've never done an online teaching experience in my life. So it's a kind of experience that an university has, has taken to uh, international students since of now. And um, it's a very memorable experience to me. Yeah. OK. Uh, I, Gazi, uh, hello, Gaji. Hello. Hello, Gaji. How are you? You are back? Yes, sir. I'm fine. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I, yeah, start your uh, views with your quick introduction. I think we left your introduction. Yeah, my phone was overheated, so I had to make sure it's pulled down first before I could turn it on again. Okay. Um, I've already done my introduction, and I didn't get to your first question because I wasn't around. So, sir, can you please repeat yourself again? My, uh, my question to you, your experience at Riyadhbara University till this time. Okay, my experience in Riyadhbara. Well, I would say I have a lot of things to say, but I came I came last year, September. So I would say I'm too new to what is happening in my school. But the only thing I would say is using my hostel, because I stay in the hostel, so I feel so loved and honored with this few time of spent, especially my warden. And she has been a very good woman. I would say like a mother to me. She has showed me the way, the things, what is wrong and what is good. If I should do something that is very bad, she will always call to my attention and say, gift, I know you as a very good student. What is happening? So I will try to explain, like she put me in a very good place. And I felt so honored and loved. And there is more of love interaction between everyone around me. I would say Indian is a very good place to stay. It makes you feel at home and make you feel interactive to everyone. Uh, uh, Gaji, uh, you are a pharmacy student, if I'm not wrong. Yes, I am a pharmacy student, sir. Uh, what's your experience about your concern department? Okay, my concern department, pharmacy, like you said. Yeah. Um, when I came, I will first of all give experience of what happened to me. When I came the first time, I felt so lost. I don't know what they were saying. It feels, I don't know what is happening. But the interaction between me and my lecturer makes me ma makes me feel so nice that you will always come to me and say, Shagi, me, what is happening? You are looking so lost. You don't, it's like you don't know what I'm teaching. I'll say, yes, ma'am. I don't know because I don't understand what you are saying because the English was so different compared to what I know. So every time she will call me and put me in order. And to the extent that I got to understand things much more better in my class. And pharmacy is a very good course. Like it's, they will make sure they teach you what you are supposed to learn, how it goes, teach you things deep, like very, very deep that you will understand. And you'll be proud to say you are a pharmacy student. And I'm going to say thank you to my lecturer, Mrs. Mandeep. She has been very, very helpful to us in class. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Mandeep, also from the pharmacy department uh, for understanding our students and uh, making them a progress in the life. Levendo, uh, I will. Oh, hello, yeah, Levendo, are you there? Okay. Meanwhile, we have a question for John. John, there is a question from the viewer. All right. Uh, Mr. Bhardwaj is asking, uh, dear John, how do you assess the impact of coronavirus pandemic on your studies at RBU? Access the effect of. Uh... Effect of uh, coronavirus on your studies at RBU, impact of the... Okay. All right. Like I said earlier, we know that this global pandemic has affected uh, everyone. And uh, the, the effect of uh, the pandemic is that like it, it changes the, the livelihood of people, the normal livelihood. And uh, the effect is that the students I used to uh, have learned a new thing. The effect of pandemic positively, they have learned a new thing, which 
uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Frank has explained earlier. He said he has never yes, experienced yes. the online classes until now. Had it been, uh, is, it was because of the uh, pandemic that he was able to understand sure. the online classes and everything. We know that the pandemic has affected people positively, and there is also a negative impact in some as aspects. And uh, for the student here in Riyadh Bara University, like um, w uh, the learning skill, the, the learning has been different. So people in the university have learned a new thing, and the challenges we have faced have also helped us to learn new things in the environment. So this is what I want to tell him. There's a learning of new thing with the pandemic. So there's positive impact and there's also negative impact. The positive impact is the difficulty of adapting to the new set of rules. Okay, thanks. And the thanks, negative sir. impact is the learning of the new things, yeah. Okay. I want to come to Levando. I think we are missing Levando every time. Hello, Levando, am I audible? Levando, am I audible? Yes. Yes. Levando, uh, just want to uh, share yes. your thought processes about this pandemic and the lockdown, how you manage and uh, to survive and you are safe in India in Riyadh and Bara University, Mali. I didn't get that. Can you repeat your question? Levando, I'm audible. Can you repeat your question? I didn't get that. Okay. Can you repeat your question? <laughs> You can share your views. Okay. 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 okay, when it comes to um, how we able to cope with the COVID-19 lockdown and everything, like being in Riyadh Bahar and then. So to start with, um, living on track, but not living in the whole like everyone else. So um, in, I'm renting a flat outside school. And this day, have implemented um, the strict regulations to who comes in and who goes out of camp first. Um, the past five months of lockdown, I have been able to come our normal my mask before you come in, all of those things, and the very few number of people that are allowed to be on campus. So, I would say for the few times that I came on campus, I feel like the rules that they have set are necessary for the time that we are living in because obviously we can't take risks, we obviously can't just walk around without masks and we need those rules in order for us to be safe. So I would say those rules are necessary and um, how I've been coping outside and how it's affected my um, education. I'm actually done, I will do my internship just before the lockdown. So I continued internship online. I had had classes via Skype and I was home. So I would say everything was okay for me and I was supposed to cope with the lockdown. But I was still able to do, do everything except online. Luckily we've been um, given the technology to attend classes and even people in the lower grades, in the lower um, here is your class. Levendo, uh, Levendo, I, I request you if you can take a break. Yeah. Uh, hello, Levendo. Can we take a break? Because Sisti is with us from Bhutan and she has a problem with the internet facility. Uh, we can just go to Sisti directly. Sisti, you can share your views. Sorry. Uh, I can understand your problem. Oh, hello, you can sir. Just hello, everyone. Share your views. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you so much for this. Well, I'm very happy to see um, all um, smiling so faces. Um, yeah, tell me, sister. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, um, 
the, the lockdown has been um, a really hard time. I know it's it's been like affecting every one of us and uh, not just like small amount of people. It's like it's affecting everyone. Um, I would like to say I've been very lucky actually um, for, for um, like being a business and I feel like um, the king has done like a tremendous job you know an amazing job for like students in india and students like all over the world and um i'm very happy that uh people are not stranded like business people are not in like um india or anywhere um and um in that case i've been very lucky but um the lockdown period has been um just like begun in bhutan actually um we were not in lockdown but it's just begun for like the past four days yeah okay and uh, Sushi, uh, the online classes are going on, I think, for the, your concern department during this lockdown period. Yeah. Um, the yeah, the teachers are doing a very great job. They are keeping us in the tiptoes. They're giving us assignments and they are doing their like the best they can, I think they are doing uh, the greatest job like they're still teaching us you know even when we are like i don't know what but then i'm very thankful to whatever the like whatever job they're doing they're doing a very great job and i like to thank them for what they're doing and what they're doing is a great thing okay okay my uh my again a question with gazi only gazi hello yes sir can hear you yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Gaji, uh, just want to know uh, the education system uh, you are studying in India with Riyadh and Bara. Is this making an impact in your life, the education system? Okay. <laughs> like they've said earlier, this um, online classes is very, very important. It makes you have time to understand what they are teaching, and they've done a very great job. My lecturers are really trying, like, they put more effort to make sure, though it's online classes, but they put more effort to make you understand what is going on to the extent they will say, if you don't understand, they will send their numbers for you to call so they can send yeah. you to a call for you to call so you can understand. And they give a lot of assignments so that it will make you not to be lazy. You have to be serious. It makes you to be serious and put more effort to know why you are here and to make you become the brighter person you want to be. So I would say the online classes is very, very effective to pharmacy students. What's your views, uh, John, on online classes that RBU is providing to you all? Okay, like uh, personally, uh, I'm in my last semester and for the engineering student, we are not supposed to have online classes. But in general, as she said, I can also share my views personally, the interaction with my HOD regarding my project, because this is what I had. I was on uh, I have seen completely. your project. I have seen your projects also that day. It's really all good. All right. The all right. All right. During this lockdown period, it's uh, really an awesome all project. Right. And, uh, I appreciate you, your you. work and you utilize your time in the lockdown period. Yeah. And if yeah, there, I, I, I will comment Mr. my HOD, Mr. Sumil Priyadarshi, because he was the one that asked me to start a project instead of staying alone, because I was an, unable to complete my training because of the COVID-19. So he kept me busy and I've learned a lot from that. So um, I want to say in general, the faculty have tried to see that they keep us busy, which is uh, create an impact in our life. So uh, they have been helpful in that regard. So, and I want to comment on them on that. Thank you. Yes, Sisti. Hello. Uh, I'm audible. Hello, sir. I'm so sorry. Um, things have been really, really I, bad. I can, I can understand. I, I, can, I can understand. I can understand. So sorry. No issues. No issues. No, no, no. Uh, Sisti, you already said you are getting the assignments. Classes are uh, moving on. And uh, for the current semester, for this odd semester, is the classes for online classes started in RB? Yeah, yeah, for absolutely. Um, uh, we started our classes a week ago. And yeah, so far, so good. It's going smoothly. And then uh, teachers are doing their best they can. They're making the notes for us. They're providing us with notes. 
notes. They're telling us to write this down and put it in the notebook and show it to them. I think, you know, they're making us work. They're putting us in the in our tiptoes. And yeah, it's working pretty, pretty well. So what's your experience? Because you came down from Bhutan to India and for and you landed to Radbara University, Mohali Chandigarh. And how's your experience while you landed from your motherland to uh, unknown place in uh, Radbara University? What's your experience? You know, when it was great. I think lots of memories, obviously. And um, I think I've learned so much from the university itself. I've had a lot of things. Like, I went through a lot of things in that university, which taught me how to handle stuff, how not to be, you know, like, I don't know. But it's made me the person who I am today. And then I think we're growing. And um, People there, I think I've, I've learned how to, you know, be on my own and, you know, put myself up even if like the worst of the worst situation comes. And the one thing that I got to, you know, experience the most and, you know, learn from like being there the most is managing, whether it's managing time, whether it's managing money, whether it's managing people, whether it's managing everything. I think the managing there, like, I think that's the like key point that you have to learn in life. And I think that that's that managing. Yeah, that's, that's totally the thing that I have like learned and experienced in the university. It has been quite a, and I'm thankful for that. Okay, okay. I think Levendo is again back. Hello, uh, hello Levendo, you are back. Yeah, yes. Levendo and Ghazi bo uh, both are back. I want to ask Ghazi and Levendo, both of you, other than uh, uh, education. What are the activities university used to hold for international students? I think we have done the uh, many events here last year also. Yeah. Uh, what are the activities uh, university, Rathambara University holds other than education? The activities there. Ah, extracurricular activities. <laughs> Okay, so, um, so first year, like, I like to in particular was basketball because I'm into um, athletics, so I used to play on the basketball. I was playing the voice is, uh, your voice is not clear. I request if you can uh, speak slowly and hello, can you hear me now? Yeah. Now, uh, yeah, tell me, tell me. Yes, I was saying one of the activities that I liked participating in was basketball. And I was part of the university team. So we were able to have tournaments at different universities. And yeah, I got a few medals. And other than that, um, I also had um, other cultural events that we had, like... Um, we had we had um, the techno visa where we had different performances and i also participated in dance performance and yeah so i feel like those are one of the few activities that we had we also had debates in the law department and yeah I think you both are sitting together. Yeah, Ghazi, uh, what are the activities we do in Rathpara University? Yeah, I was saying I was doing basketball and I was part of the basketball. Okay. Team. And we also had other activities, cultural activities, like the Techno Visa, where you participate in dancing, singing, and I was able to do modeling. And yeah, so just making a few. What your views, Ghazi? Okay, like I said earlier, I came so early. I came September, so I'm new to the system. But when I came, they were having Indian Independence Day in the school. Great. So I'm um, this kind of person. I don't stay idle. I also make sure that I participate in everything that is happening in the school. So I joined a different country's um, cultural dance <laughs> that I had to adapt to the system. So I I did great there so it was so nice and the school also um brought a race like an um, inter department race that
that I had to participate to. So I also okay. tried and I also had a medal for that. <laughs> so it was a great opportunity for me, sir. Thank you. Okay. I think uh, we, we are also very glad to host you in uh, our campus so that we uh, Indian students can get an intercontinental cultural exchange because uh, it's uh, good to have you all. And uh, I start with John. John, a last message for yeah. your brothers and sisters in your motherland. All right. Um, thank you. The, la the message I will give uh, to my brothers and sisters, first of all, I can say that as you can see us here, you can see our faces. If you are watching right now, we are happy. And then uh, uh, right now you can see that we are happy. And I, I will also give this advice to each and every individual who is back there. You know, before you travel, it's good to make your findings, get your facts before traveling, not just India, but any other country. Um, just uh, ask questions so that you know the country where you are system friendly. We, that you are friendly with the system before traveling because uh, there are instances people travel and then they complain about everything it's good to check where you want to go you check about the food if you like that type of food then you come over there so that when you come go there you will be happy about everything so do your find findings before traveling everywhere so i come to india because i search about India, I know that, yeah, if I go there, I'm not going to have any problem. I like food with uh, spicy food. That's why I also come here. So I want I think uh, there is interconnectivity issues. Uh, Frank, uh, yeah, right. yeah, John, you are back. All right, all right. So Something my advice uh, is that... Uh, Okay, okay. Hello, am yeah, I audible? Share, share, share it. Yes, yeah, yes, my you are audible. It's my, my advice is uh, do your findings before traveling everywhere. Get to know, like where you are going to before even leaving your country. Uh, so that you not end up being a sadist and uh, it's good to like whatever you are doing and uh, check the educational system. I like engineering and I search I, the engineering uh, uh, study study engineering here in India is good, and I have no regret coming here to study engineering. So it's good for each and every individual to do that before traveling. So that's my message to my brothers and sisters. Thank you. Thank you, John. Frank, if you can share your message. You. Okay, um, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Frank, Frank, uh, Mr. Frank, John has said it all. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, Mr. John, you have said it all. Um, actually, before coming to India, it's uh, you have to do a research. It's a very important thing you have to do a research on what you want to be, what do you want to, what do you want to aspire to be. You have to know your aspiration. Who do you see yourself in five or twelve years? What do you want to be? You have. To Okay, for me, uh, I'm not used to the spicy food, but um, actually we made, before coming here, we made an interaction with the VP himself in the university. Um, he assured us 100% that they'll be providing African food for international students. And we also, he also showed us the pictures of this food that we'll be providing. So it's like, we had an assurance that when we come here, we're going to eat the African food that we, uh, actually, uh, the university did not disappoint, actually. And um, uh, actually, on my side, that India is one of the countries that provide a very large num number of uh, scholarship, a very affordable price for scholarship. Because um, um, for my point of view, like, uh, we started like 20 Tanzanians. Uh, due to the financial issues, we couldn't even uh, pursue our education, but um, uh, they made sure that we had an affordability to pay uh, semester-wise so that we could pursue our dreams. That's all that I have today. Thanks, thanks, Frank. I want to come to the uh, Ghazi and Levenjo both, uh, the masses. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, um, like they both said, if you want to go to any country, mm. you first of all make inquiries. We have Google, we have a lot of internet places where you can make research and get information about different countries. So, like, I would love to say, um, for me as a pharmacy student. If you really want to get a good educational background about pharmacy line or any medical line, India is a very great place, a very yeah. beautiful place, and it has good quality of education where you could learn and you will be proud to say I'm a pharmacy student. And I would also like to go out of um, this point of giving advice, in my own view now, to give advice to people watching us. I would love to say, if you want to be a greater person, if you want to be a good person in future, a person that people will walk towards to and have confidence that this is the person that I want to be with for advice, educational background, and so on. I would love to say, be open-minded and open your heart fully well to get information and learn and achieve what you want to get in your course so that it will not be a disappointment that I came to India, yeah. I didn't achieve anything because it won't make sense and it will be like a waste of time and money for you to be here. So I would love to say it's good to be in India. Okay, yeah, so for me, yeah, the advice that I would give the people that would like to come here to be specific. Yeah. So for the people that would like to travel here for education, apart from everything that everyone has said, which is very relevant, I would like to say stay focused. Because I feel like there are a lot of distractions that come with being like in a different continent, very far away from home. You know, like there's so many things that you can do, but my advice is stay focused. Because at the end of the day, you need to remind yourself why you came here in the first place. And once you have that in your head, like the reason why I'm here is because I want to get an education, you're going to be successful. And it's very easy to have a GPA from like nine to like three. It's very easy to like fail if you're not like paying attention. I would say when you come here, stay focused, attend your classes, do what you can, research. Don't just stick to what the university teaches you. Try to be... Um, Try to give, like she said, open-minded. Like try to research more about what you're studying so that you're not just fixed to what you're told. And also discover new things. Don't just stick to your course. You can do other things as well. You can learn about their culture. You can, there's so many things that you can do. You can like, take advantage of being in a whole new different place. And yeah. I think Sistri is uh, back with us. Uh, Sistri, hello Sistri. Hello. Hello, sir. Need a last message Hello, for uh, yeah. Need a last message from your end before closing this uh, lovely webinar with you all. Last message from you, sister. Uh, last message to who, sir? For your uh, for your people, uh, brothers and sisters living in your uh, motherland with you right oh, now. Okay. Yeah. Um. I would just like to say that um. The only thing that money can't buy is life. So stay safe. Um, there's nothing bigger than life itself. So save yourself, save everyone around you. Don't like, you know, abide by the rules, just abide by the rules and yeah, stay safe, that's all. Thank all of you for joining us in this webinar. The students from Nigeria, Congo, Thank and I think uh, we missed uh, Sayed because due to some technical issues, he's from uh, Sayed is from mm -hmm. Afghanistan. I thank all of you, all uh, Sisti, Levando, Frank, and John, and Gazi. Sorry, it's, I miss your name. It's our, our yeah. pleasure. Our pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Our pleasure. Thank, thank you for you. making thank you. Time thank you for us to speak. Yeah, thank, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. You are watching this webinar uh, yeah. with the international yeah, students. Thank you when much. you uh, when you see the satisfied face and the smiling faces, satisfied from the education system, we feel proud at Rayatbara family. Uh, and our motto and the agenda of our Chancellor Sardar Gurinder Singh Bara to give a quality education to the students of India and international due to his wisdom. 
and his poor fitness for the education system and we are able to achieve his vision and mission to give the education to each and every person thanks everybody thanks for Thank watching you. this webinar thanks viewers we will join you on friday with our next webinar Thank you, sir. with mr rao lead recruitments at british telecom as a chapter 6 thank stay safe stay tuned we will catch you soon thank you thank you thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you thank you sir